We contribute a new algorithm for live multi-view performance capture that generates compelling high-quality reconstructions of non-rigid motion and shape in real time. Our system takes noisy input from multiple cameras, in this case eight depth cameras, and produces a temporally consistent 3D model in real time. This model can additionally be textured with the RGB data. The input to our system are RGBD frames and associated segmentation masks captured in real time from a performance capture rig. A learning based technique is first used independently on each RGBD frame to estimate a correspondence field. These correspondences are used to initialize a non rigid matching phase that aligns a volumetric model to the input point cloud using embedded deformation. This warped model is then blended volumetrically with the data in a novel step which is described in detail in the paper. This produces the final result. Here we show another live capture using our system. Notice how the details on the clothing such as the skirt are being reconstructed faithfully. Also note the topology change that occurs at the beginning of this sequence as the hands move from the hip to above the head. Also note the noise in the input sequence. We further demonstrate our real-time technique in a number of challenging sequences, again captured in real-time. In this sequence, a performer is first taking off their jacket, which is an extreme topology change, then their scarf, which is another topology change, followed by the large motion as they wave their scarf around. Our system is also robust to large frame-to-frame -frame motions, as shown in this fighter sequence. This robustness comes from both the learning-based correspondence field estimation, as well as our non-rigid matching scheme. Our system has no prior on the scene that's being captured, and does not use a skeleton model or other kinematic model associated with human shapes, allowing arbitrary scenes to be captured, such as this dog interacting with their owner. In this sequence, we show multiple people interacting, a topology change as the ball is being thrown from one person to the other, as well as large motions of the ball. Another sequence shows the detailed interactions between a person and a deformable object, in this case a teddy bear. Again, it's worth noting that these reconstructions are being performed in real time. We believe that this type of real time performance capture has many different applications. For example, this could lead to the ability to watch a remote concert or sporting event live in full 3D. Another challenging example is shown here, where a performer's hair is being robustly reconstructed, even though there are some artifacts. Here we show an example where the user is interacting with multiple objects, even simultaneously. In this example, the user actually steps on a box and breaks it, forming a big topology change. We believe that these types of challenging scenes have not been demonstrated by any real-time system yet. And our hope is that this type of live performance capture will lead to many new applications. In these last two sequences, we show very detailed interactions between a performer and an object, in this case being deformed in very fine ways, as well as interactions between two performers, in this case involving many complex poses. We compare qualitatively to state-of-the-art technique. In the middle is a reference volume being reconstructed non-rigidly, as in the dynamic fusion system. And on the right, a template is accumulated and then tracked, as in the work from Zollhofer et al. from SIGGRAPH 2014. Note how topology changes and large motions cause inconsistencies in both approaches. This is because the template or reference model becomes out of date with the real-world data. Instead, our system shows robustness because our reference model is continuously updated, supporting drastic changes in topology and alignment errors. We also show a more quantitative example here, where we compare to the work from Colette et al. from SIGGRAPH 2015. Here, notice that our error maps are comparable to this high-quality offline system, but we require a fraction of the compute 
and less cameras. Again, the state-of-the-art real-time techniques, such as from Newcomb and Zollhofer et al., cannot handle these kinds of large motions. Finally, we show reconstruction examples of our system running in real time. Notice here that the frame-to-frame -frame motions are incredibly large, and yet we are able to reconstruct fine-scale shape as well as non-rigid motions. Note, however, there are some artifacts appearing due to the very large motions. This includes some holes appearing in the 3D model, as well as some oversmoothing due to alignment error. But again, our result is in real time. Thank you for watching.